Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Friday, the 4th of August. 64 degrees out here at the moment. Looks like it's going to be nice. It should be about the same, mid-80s, which is uh, very nice. It's been a normal Pacific Northwest summer. No extremes. I've had a couple of peaks here and there but throughout the, the season, but it has not been bad at all. I'm very happy that it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> Let's get it rolling. The old Friday morning gas stop at GC's. Old KW moving out. That sun has a little lower profile <laughs> each time we stop. And it drives me nuts this time of year when, you know, it's like the peak of the year. You know, for riding and trips and all that stuff. And the days are turning short or getting shorter. And you're starting to see leaves turning colors and falling out of the trees and all that stuff. But it does it every year. It's like you worry about it. And the next thing you know, it's winter and you're stuck. You'll be standing here under the lights on the sideways flying rain, you know. All right, let's go to work. 69 and mostly cloudy. It's clearing coming from the coast. Now, mm -hmm. we've seen a horrifying thing of a deer getting hit and some little small car that, man, that thing's wiped out. Flying down the freeway. And Kelly's over here bawling. Don't <laughs> but anyway, it's Friday, Mama. Let's yes. go in there and bust it out and have a nice weekend. Sounds like a plan. All right. Love, you see you by there, yeah. little sensitive woman. Bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> now. All right. Remember the Riker chick? Riker? We had to order a battery. We don't want to put those... Uh, we don't put them in. <laughs> I think we're kind of forced to... Uh, to buy some of those. Mm -hmm. But it's a hot... Those high hi you or whatever the heck they call those things. Chinese batteries. We only put the Uasas in. So we didn't have one, so we had to order it. Ooh, I put this coat on because it's 76 degrees out here. That feels a whole lot warmer than 76. I do like the Harley mirrors on there though. They're probably a Harley copy. I, uh, I would assure, be assured that somebody probably wouldn't spend the money for the Harley mirrors. Nothing like a Riker ride first thing, right? Man, that was terrible, that deer this morning. Man, that thing must have been 30 feet in the air. And it was a small car, like a Ford. I don't know what they call them now, but it like, it's like what took over the Ford Focus, I think. Little small ones. Yeah, that thing was, it's amazing that didn't, didn't go through the windshield. But uh, several people, uh, one guy, the, uh, a car hauler thing with a pickup truck, he, they all pulled over with her, so. She drove quite a ways before she pulled over. I'm sure she was in a state of shock. Man, brutal. And of course, you know, Kelly sees the whole thing. I uh, pulled the card out of my dash cam, so I have footage of it, but I just formatted the card. I go, nope, nobody needs to see that. That's one of them that goes down the river tracks. But I want to get this thing, uh, I know it fixed it because of the UASA batteries and perfect health. In fact, I left it on the BMW charger overnight. And that's a magical charger. Really, really, really expensive. It was $1,700 for that thing. But uh, yeah, she performs magic on batteries. Especially charging them, you know. 
going to turn out to be beautiful. I think it's supposed to be like 87 today or something like that. It was supposed to be in the 90s. And at one point it was showing like 100 degrees over the weekend. Here in Vancouver. But that's gone. We're supposed to be 92 on Sunday and now Sunday is going to be like one of the cooler days of the week. Weather changes fast around here. Got to pay attention. Don't see my boy out here anywhere. <laughs> I was noticing that bike yesterday. I think it spent more time sliding down the road than it has upright by the looks of it. When I first started riding these things, I, you just couldn't help yourself but to be in them. It is such cool acceleration and quickness that is choof. I mean you're up to Mach 9 in just seconds and your bones stop of course you can build these things up to be crazy as well turbos and all kinds of stuff on them and again in the end you spent a bunch of money made something very unreliable and no one cares <laughs> <laughs> and you, you ever notice the people that do that they're the one that's talking oh I've done this and that and this does this and blah 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 the only person that cares is the person that did it and they have to talk about it because you know no one cares so they just go on and on and on about their bike and like dude give it a break no one cares <laughs> People will be cordial and nice. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That must be fast. That must be cool. Yada, yada, yada. And you're like, walk away going, Whew, glad that conversation's over. I got things to do. <laughs> but I'm sure I probably did that too. I don't think I was ever, literally, ever someone that bragged about my stuff definitely not myself you want people to be very interested in you tell them nothing the mystery makes you very attractive to people they're dying to know more they always want to know more let them ask you the questions don't tell them in the first 20 minutes you meet someone, you tell them their entire life story, you're forgotten 30 seconds after they walk away. You're not interesting to anyone. Look, they took all the caging down. Hope that doesn't backfire. And they come back. But the police, they're not messing around here in Vancouver. I'm here to tell you. Absolutely not messing around. So the result of this thing, I guess I won't wait until the goodbye vlog to say it because I must have had 20 people. Well, did it restart? I discussed it in the goodbye vlog at the end of the video. You guys are jumping out too quick. I may leave Easter eggs in there that y'all wondering what happened. Well, it was answered. I explained the deal with this thing at the end of the video <laughs> a couple of people they kind of cracked me up and they go all that and you did explain yeah I know they jump out yeah I'm going too fast that guy almost came up underneath me anyway another ride on this wonderful 21 900 Riker I'm gonna go catch up to Kelly here look her out there
<laughs> it could happen. It were Aunt me. Oh, this has got the hill stop. Or maybe they all had it. I don't know. So, I'll go. I don't have room to bring it inside. It was everything I had to get it out where it was. I'll park her here and uh, play some games with starting and stopping and whatever. But thanks for coming along for the rip. Made it home safe and sound this evening. Um, man, when I got back with that Riker, I did a few tests and uh, even did a, um, a a conventional low test on the old back because you still have the old battery there. And um, yeah, that thing fails miserably under a load. Fuel injected uh, motorcycles due to cam profiles and a whole bunch of different things that I could sit here for an hour and talk about. Um, when they're hot, that's it actually takes more of a load from the battery to start them than when they're cold. So a weak battery can have an issue when it's hot. If you're used to carburetors, carbureted bikes, you'll know that they start the easiest once they're warm and you've gone through your whole choke thing. I mean, you just touch the starter button, boom, bup, 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 they're sitting there idling. Well, a fuel injected bike, actually, the way they work, it takes a little, it takes a larger load to start them when they're hot. Anyway, that's where the weakness of that battery came about. Got a good UASA in there. I charged it with the BMW charger, tested it, double tested it, and uh, this thing will be good. As long as she keeps that thing on a good maintainer, preferably an Optimate 3 or one of the higher end ones. The Optimate 3 is all you need. Even the Optimate 1, the little plug in the wall thing works absolutely perfectly fine on the, especially the smaller battery that's in the Riker but anyway I was here playing around with Kelly's F-150 goofing off it's getting towards the end of the day and we're gonna do a goodbye before too long here and I don't know you guys wanna you wanna see the old F-150 do the uh the stump route back here yeah we'll run the old F-150 back to right quick hang tight all right big old glute this has got one of those remember those first um three cell batteries that i got they're like six thousand milliamps or 66 whatever they are they are big old heavy batteries and the way the the way it's laying in the i don't why am i riding upside this thing will go over whatever you point it at but um yeah that battery's very heavy and it's sitting in that tray so um you do need to be a little, a little careful with a uh, um, side hilling. What I get hung on here? I'm getting hung on all kinds of stuff. See, I went in there all cocky, didn't I? Look at that. Yeah, buddy, in there mouthing off. Oh, it'll go anywhere. <laughs> That'll teach you. Let her crunch that old bag there. That sounds so cool. I don't know if that sound even comes across. Then you go out there and stand by it. You know, this thing, it's, you know, it's got a nice long wheelbase. But what's crazy about it is that it actually, the turning radius of this thing is surprisingly good. Just because of the turning, the steering and stuff on these things, these Traxxas TRX4s are just amazing anyway. Traxxas has got this stuff figured out big time. You're gonna spend a little more for a ready to run, but you're getting a getting a special kind of a ready to run. The nice thing is they they actually do perfectly well, completely stock. You just all you need is some double A's for your um, controller, and you know, two cell, three cell, whatever you want for the car, and literally you pull it out of the box and go play for years and years and years wind this thing backwards up in here i think we're going to grab a corner of that tailgate not tailgate but the, the bed over there she was heading right for the log here we are <laughs> What a beast. 
these things are I don't know they just do everything so well that it's it's uh, more challenging to to drive some of the the other models because you know they're they got too many little quirks and weird things <laughs> it's more of a challenge to get it to do something these you just kind of put it where you want it to go if it gets too slippery lock the diffs and the nice thing is is when you just goof around you unlock the diffs they steer and handle go over things better everybody should have the ability to select which diff you want locked and unlocked and they don't do it that way anyway i just wanted to come out here and thought i'd bring a camera out here and chit chat with you while i'm doing my little nightly cool off cool off goof off what better way to start a friday night in the weekend with a good old f-150 cruise such a cool truck anyway I'm going to goof around here a little bit and grab mom. We'll do a goodbye. And, and uh, well, the weekend's already officially started once we got home. But we'll, uh, from there, we'll see what we're going to do this weekend. Don't like the clouds that are out here right now, but it's, it's no big deal. No chance of rain. Well, hello there, you two. Man, little clouds and the fact that. There's a lot of bunnies. That out is there. a lot of rabbits. <laughs> That's a bunch of bunnies. What out there in the, in the world? Driveway. Look at all the rabbits running out there. There's, yeah, there's one on the other side of the trash can right there. There was more, but I, I fiddle farted around there and it didn't hit the record button. It's one way off in the bushes there. They were all, almost all together. It's crazy how close we can get to them. Little bun bunnies. They're just used to us out here. The, none of the dogs chase them. Although Danny literally acts like a cat going after something, and then when they run, he doesn't go after him. So I think he knows Mama will hang him. Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, there's a gentleman that lives here in Toledo. I ran into him, I think it's been a couple years ago. Maybe it's even more than that. I hope not. But uh, um, I was going out to that train crossing and ran into him. He, he drives a Riker. He lives here in Toledo. Yeah. I, I guess he comes by the shop all the time and... He swung in, Kelly was busy, and but anyway, he dropped this off and goes, give this a shot. Deck of cards. There's 52 individual train photos on the cards. Isn't that cool? It's mostly locomotives and early, early diesels. It's really cool. There's some cool pictures in there. And it says, you know, where it's at and um, where it was taken, the train. Anyway, it has info about what the picture is. That's cool. Thank you very much. Yes. Must be a dream buff himself there a little mm -hmm. bit. <laughs> but anyway, let's start the weekend. All righty. You ready? Well, I'm ready. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes. I think the weather's supposed to just stay consistent in here. There's nothing. Yeah. Looks like it might be starting to get hotter next week, but. Yeah. Well, what's we'll five? We always do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. As long as we don't get them record heats, you know. Yeah. No triple digits. Please. Yeah. But uh, thanks for watching. Yes. And you guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> bye bye.